Hey, welcome to Intro to AP Computer Science A in Java. Today, I'm going to talk about selection sort. So let's get started. Okay, selection sort. Um, selection sort is a sorting method uh, that's pretty simple and it's pretty straightforward. And it's I think it's a good one for beginners to learn, uh, just because it's it's uh, yeah it's not too complex theoretically. Okay, so essentially what you're doing. Uh, is you're going through your list. Now in this case it's integers, but it could be uh, doubles, it could be whatever, um, as long as it's sortable uh, with some parameter. But uh, we're gonna use integers to keep it simple. So basically what you're gonna do go is you're in your head, you're kind of starting here. Uh, so let's call, we can call that I. I don't really wanna talk about the coding so much at this point, as I just wanna talk about you know how it works. Uh, and so what we gotta do is we gotta go through and we gotta find the lowest number. Okay, so in this case, that's clearly zero. And then what we do is we take zero and we swap it with this first value, which of course in programming, this is the zeroth value. And we just swap those two values. So then we have a zero here, we have an eight here. So we know now that this is the lowest value. Now we do the exact same thing. Instead, now we start here we go through, we find the lowest value. In that case, it's gonna be a one. Okay, so because of that, then we swap the one and the five. Okay, then we do the exact same thing, we go here. And now coincidentally, this is the lowest number, so we're gonna end up not really needing to do a swap, but we still have to check every single number to see if it is the lowest or not. Okay, so what we gotta keep track of is our starting point on each round, so the first time we start at zero, the second time we start at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to the end. Uh, and then we need to keep track of the comparisons. So we're comparing zero to one, and then one, zero to two, zero to three, zero to four, zero to five, zero to six. So you can see here, we're gonna have a nested loop structure. Um, so J is always gonna be starting at I plus one. Okay, and again, until we get to the end, we find the lowest value. Um, so we also need to keep track of where is the lowest value that we've found so far. So for example, when we, we do our first run through, okay, we assume that the first value, in this case, the zeroth value is the lowest. So our minimum index is gonna be zero. And that zero comes from i. So we're just gonna set i equal to, or minimum index equal to i. And then we're gonna compare it. So we already see that five is lower than eight. So our minimum index is gonna equal whatever J is, in this case, one, okay? J goes up to two and we compare the values. And as it turns out, this is also lower. So minimum index is now J, which would be zero, one, two. And we do the same thing and we just keep going through. Eventually, once we run through that process for every value all the way to the end, uh, we will get uh, a sorted list. Uh, and I, I got this information from Wikipedia, so the link is here, and I'll put that hopefully in the description down below if I don't forget. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some actual coding and go ahead and see how that works. So as I said, we need to keep track of a few different things. Now, uh, this case I'm using Java, so I'm gonna go ahead and make an integer for the uh, minimum index. Okay, and we're gonna Start that, just declare it to be zero. And we'll, we can, we're gonna change that in a minute anyway. And then in my for loops, I'm gonna go ahead and declare int i uh, equals zero, because we're starting at zero. And then we're gonna go to i is less than the array.length. We could actually do minus one here, but let's just try it with just the array length. I think it should still work. Um, i plus plus. Okay. And then in here, we're gonna say our min index equals i. Now the first time through, it's zero and zero. It doesn't matter, it's gonna work. But the second time through, uh, i is gonna be starting at one, so we need to make sure that the minimum index when we start is set up to um, that value, okay, of i in this case. And then we need our second loop for int j equals i i plus one, if you recall from the explanation, 
I, it's I and then J is always I plus one. That's gonna keep changing as we run through the loops. And then J of course is also gonna have to be less than the array dot length. And then J plus plus. Okay. So in here, now we need to see if the element that we're looking at is the lowest element. Okay, so we're gonna say if array J is less than array min index. So if the current number is less than the the like the value of the min, current minimum, then we need to we need to say okay, well that's that's our new minimum. Okay. Now notice we're not actually keeping track of the value itself. We're just keeping track of its location. So then we would say min index equals J. All right, then we're going to let that run through to the end of the array. And then what we got to do, actually, we're just going to let that do its thing. And then if it is different, so basically what I'm going to do here is if the min index okay, does not equal i. Okay, in the case where i is already the minimum value. Now, we don't actually have to do that. We could do it. It's, it's still going to work, but it's a little, little inefficient. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say int uh, temp uh, equals, uh, let's see, arri, because we're swapping out i. And then I'm going to say arri equals arr, the r min index. And then I'm going to say ARR min index equals our temp value. All right, and that should do it, I'm hoping. So I'm going to run that and see what happens. Oh my gosh, it worked. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we took this array and we sorted it. Um, and as I mentioned, um, because we're going from, you know, because uh, J is I plus one, I could, I could, I think, put a minus one here and it should still work. So let's try that just to make sure, see if we get an error or not. Okay, and that still does work, okay? So again, just conceptually what we're doing is we're going through the list, or the, the array, excuse me, each time. We're trying to find the lowest value and we swap that out with the current position that we're in. So in the case i, uh, let me actually go back to here. So we're starting with i, and then we're looking for the lowest value. We find it, we swap it out, and then we start here, because we know that's the now the lowest of all the numbers. And then we start here, and we look for the lowest number, and we find it, we swap it out, look for the lowest number, find it, swap it out, look for the lowest number, find it, swap it out, etc., etc. And once we are done, we have a fully sorted list. Okay, that is it. Good luck.